grandson's birthday Stephen. yesterday. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary. To and Rachel. Yes, well, <laughs> good morning. I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. And you just tuned into the morning devotion. Amen. We're here to encourage you through the word so that you can be strong in the faith and live victoriously in Christ. Amen. That is where we find Amen. true, true victory. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you in the name of Jesus. Anoint this time, Lord, that your word Lord, would be an encouragement to us. Lord, you know what people need to hear today. Help us, Lord, to share that and help the seed of your word, Lord, get into our heart and bring forth, Lord, faith, in you, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Go ahead. The birds are out this morning. You know, <laughs> birds and squirrels, but that's great. That's great. <laughs> I don't know what you're going through, but if I told you this morning everything's going to be all right, you would be mm, eh. thinking, well, you know, maybe you understand what I'm going through. But, but <laughs> we haven't experienced everything that you are experiencing now. We may or may not have gone through the things that have you discomforted at this time. But God knows. And when God tells you everything's going to be all right, it carries the weight and authority from a living, breathing, powerful God who loves you yes. and has compassion on you and comforts you and is coming to tell you it's going to be all right. Amen. So I may not know what you're going through. I may not know what kind of emotions you're having today. I may not know what struggles you are facing. But I know the one who does. Yes. Thanks. And I know the one who can comfort you. So today, we're praying that God would give you an epiphany of his word. Amen. What's that funny thing that you just said? It's kind of like when you're reading a scripture and all of a sudden, that scripture comes alive to you. Mm -hmm. That scripture goes from being just words on a page to Wow, right into your heart. Yeah. I needed that today. Well, that's what God's word is. So we're praying that a seed word or a word seed planted in your heart. Today, we're talking about those who seek God find comfort. Do you need comfort today? Well, let's look and we're going to start with a very well-known psalm. In fact, this psalm is such a comforting verse that it's often read at funerals or celebrations of life to comfort those who have been left behind by one that they love. And this is out of Psalms 23 and verse number four from the English Standard Version. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff they comfort me. Amen. God's protection Amen. can bring you comfort. His rod and his staff. He can use it to fend off the attacks of the enemy, or he can use it to rescue you by the crook of your neck and pull you yep. with his staff where he needs you to be, to Amen. pull you off the edge of a cliff, to pull you off the edge of a decision in your life that may be a, a, a catastrophe but God knows also his love comforts Psalms 119 76 let your steadfast love comfort me according to your promise to your servant let your steadfast love comfort me do you need comfort well knowing that you are loved can bring comfort Knowing that someone loves you mm -hmm. can bring comfort. Amen. I love Amen. my wife. Love I love her dearly. <laughs> and we love being together. And Amen. we love sharing God's word with you Amen. every day. But God's love is so pure. 
and so different. And when you know and you realize that God loves you, then you'll know how he treats you. And it's a comforting thought. And he will never leave you or forsake you. This is what it says about his presence and how it comforts you. Psalms 34, 18. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saved the cr cr saves the crushed in spirit. The Lord saves those that are crushed in spirit. You know, God's promise, he will save you. Are you feeling like you've been crushed in spirit? Does thinking about things bring tears to your eyes? Does it bring sorrow? That's crushed in spirit. He is near to the brokenhearted. Is your heart broken? God has a special place for you. And not only that verse, but let's take a look at Isaiah 41 and verse number 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I Amen. am your God. I will strengthen Amen. you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That is a promise from God. Don't be dismayed because your God is with you. And he, what does it say? He will strengthen, strengthen you. you. When you're feeling weak, be comforted because he can com comfort you in your weakness. He can comfort you by being with you. Amen. Sometimes we think on the future and we may be comforted for a little bit but we think about, well, what's tomorrow going to bring? Well, God has a plan for you for tomorrow. Yes. And when you know his plan, his plan can be comforting. This is what it says at the very end of the Bible, chapter 21 of the book of Revelation, in the fourth verse, this is a promise from God. It says, this is Revelation 21.4. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and Amen. death shall be no more. Amen. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. Amen. I want you to go back and read that verse again when you can afterwards, Revelation 21, 4, and know that no matter what you're going through, God has a plan. Mm -hmm. And his plan is to bring you out of this world and into his presence and into an eternity with him. And he, it says, he will wipe away your tears. Amen. I just want you to picture for a moment God coming up to you and then wiping your tears away Amen. and saying, it's going to be all right. Amen. His presence and his plan can bring you comfort. And lastly, if you're feeling sick, and you're feeling like you're worried about getting sick, I want you to know that his healing brings comfort. This is what it says. Psalms 147.3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Amen. God heals the brokenhearted and he Amen. binds up your wounds. We have a promise from God that he will care for you. His protection comforts, his love comforts, his presence is comforting, his yeah. plan is comforting, and there is healing in his presence, and that is comforting. Those who seek God find comfort. If you need comfort today, pray this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you but I need comfort today. Father, you know the situation that I'm facing. You know what's heavy on my heart today. Be with me today. Let your word speak into my heart. In the name of Jesus, let there be encouragement. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. We'll see you tomorrow for church service. If you haven't been to church in a while, I would encourage you, join come us. on down and join us at Amen. Intercession City Church of God. 
it'll be tomorrow morning. Service starts at 10.30. Mm -hmm. We'll start with a little bit of songs and a little bit of worship and a little bit of fellowship and some coffee. <laughs> <clears throat> and then we'll have a, a time for a little bit of word seed. Yep, at 11 Come, o'clock it Coming comes into your heart at 11 o'clock. Won't you join us tomorrow in person? You can wear a mask if you want. <laughs> Our church is set up with very convenient yeah. distancing between you and other people. You'd love it. We'll see you tomorrow morning. 10.30 in person or 11, 11 o'clock online. online. And keep a praise song in your heart. <laughs> and rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. Thank you for joining us. We love you. We care for you. And we'll okay. see you tomorrow. Yes. Yeah.